So this one's using one of your algorithms called input validation. Okay, so there's two two ways of doing it. Now what will happen is you'll be given a wee scenario and you'll want to design the validation for the inputs identified in the problem. Okay, so again I've made this wee program to design a, yeah, a program that will obtain a value between 10 and 20 inclusive. So that when, if it says inclusive, that means 10 and 20 have to be included. So the two ways of doing it is you can use the while loop. So what happens is while this can the condition so while we, the number's not in the right range, tell them that there's an error and get the number back from the user. So what happens is you ask for the number first, because you have to do that before you can see if it's actually a valid number or invalid. And while the number is invalid, tell them that there's an error, okay, so make it user friendly, get the number from the user. And it keeps on asking it until you have typed in a number between 10 and 20. Okay, so that's the one, so that's using the while loop. There's another loop you can use, and it basically keeps on asking until the number is valid. Okay, so this one is it loops while it isn't valid. This one it keeps on asking until it is valid. So this is called a loop until. Okay, so you're repeating the code within this loop. So you repeat, you say, get the number from user. Now you have a wee condition statement, and that allows you to actually um, display it that there's an error okay just to make it user friendly because the person might be typing in a number it keeps on asking them to type in but you're not known why you have to retype re in the number so it's more user friendly so repeat get number from the user if the number is not within the, the range that we're looking for display the error again and then diff and it'll keep on asking that or keep on getting the number keep on checking the condition statement until the number is indeed between 10 and 20 okay then it'll come out okay so there's that's the two ways of doing it your while loop generally has less coding or less design than the repeat because within the repeat you're wanting to have this if statement just to actually tell them that there's an actual error with your input but that is an input validation algorithm okay so when you see that that's what you're looking for but that's the two main ways of solving it your while loop and then your repeat until loop